Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a tale of a warrior. In the last episode, we eradicated those blasphemous heretics uh, much more handily than I honestly expected we would, thanks to our very powerful tools. If I have anything to sell to you, I shall. Paladin's two-hander. Man, we got some good money out of that. Very happy. Still got two exploding arrows after all that. Alrighty, uh, we also... Um... Got the last of the... Who the hell are you even talking to? We got the last of the mine crawler plates we needed. There are ten crawler plates. Just incredible. You really deserve your hundred gold pieces. That was not our agreement, merchant. Balderdash, what could we have concerted instead of a hundred gold pieces? Agreement was two hundred gold pieces. Two hundred? You must have been dreaming. I'll get my two hundred. If I do not, I will broadcast how you are accomplishing contracts. A warehouse catches fire very quickly. Want to threaten me? Many people have tried that. When I was done with them, they had much better manners. Put down that weapon. Not happening. Oh my god. Not until this Science. asshole gives me what I deserve. For fuck's sake. That's right. How do you like that? Not bad at all. No, sir. I'm gonna get what I deserve. Heavy spiked cudgel. Ooh, I can get a good price for that. Where the hell did Herod go? Whatever. We'll sell it to him later. Get up, you bastard, and give me what you owe me. Ah, my head. Be more than your head that hurts if you don't pay up. <laughs> A small hit on the back of the head scales up reasoning power. Get the 200 gold pieces for my 10 crawler plates. Here's the rest. Alright, pleasure doing business with you. In more ways than one. So you are supposed to be able to make crawler plate armor. Such armor will probably be able to take a lot of damage and sell fabulously. Why are you asking? Do you want to order one in advance? Order in advance? I'd rather have a look at it before I pay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Don't care, don't care. So at some point he will have the armor ready and will sell it to us. Uh, it'll probably happen in a later chapter, perhaps the next chapter. We never got the fire robe, because in all honesty, it's just not worth that to me. 1,200 gold pieces, it's a bit of a premium, and I cannot really see myself affording that, considering the protection is really not all that great. Uh, so we dealt with them. Maybe we can finally get some kind of recompense out of this fucker. The renegades are dead. They were building a main temple for Beliar and Corinus. Sent these dark apostates back to their even darker god. How did you succeed? Confused them with a false prayer in the first place and pro provoked a philosophical dispute. Okay, I think she's trying to make some kind of joke here, but I don't quite get it. <laughs> Whatever you say. Made them feel Enos' is righteous anger. Can't shake that many hands. Promise the reward will be enough for me. If you also destroy the Shrine of Darkness, you know it's important to destroy the symbols as well. No, what? And finish your task, and by that occasion I impose you also destroy every Shrine of belly that comes to your attention. What? How about you pay us for the job you originally enlisted us to do? Five Shrines in this part of the island total. You need a sacred weapon in order to destroy them. And then I get my reward? Sure, buddy. An army of orcs and lizards stands by somewhere in the forest and is supposed to attack the city. That's what I've been told by Belier's highest necromancer. I was considered an inferior... What, what, whatever you said, buddy. You imply that I also have to take care of this matter? Think about your reward and your duties for church and crone? I think you meant crown. It must be totally crazy if I furthermore tell you that Beliar's people were about were about to build up a spy ring. 
We can't be sure that this ring has fallen apart after the leader's death. You will approach this matter. Of course I will. They won't just be walking in the streets blazing their intentions. And then I won't need you for this task. Talk to Wolfgar. He should be experienced in that kind of matter. Alright. Well, he's holding out on us. Fucking skin flint bitch. But, uh, whoops. Hey, you. Very brave of you to go to battle with the orcs. Great, but admiration doesn't help me. Rather tell me how to compete against the orc. Of course, you have to do lots of training. Black furs are components not to be sneezed at. Oh, opponents. Build me a statue if I don't make it back. Or they may have one or other piece of advice. When you think you're really good, come to me. My battle against orc, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'm good enough to compete against the orc. If you're, if you're absolutely convinced, I will believe you. I want to learn the tricks up your iron sleeve. Get yourself some proper armor. Before asking for a paladin's armor, I'd rather shut up. Alright, so he does not have faith in our weapons alone. He wants us to get improved armor, which is, of course, the crawler armor. Uh, at least I imagine. It could be that he expects us to get the fire robe. But I really don't want to waste any time with that. Dostal has the armor. I guess not. Hmm. Let's see what the thing says. Opponents for very special armor? Yeah. It was this guy. Alright, well I guess we just have to wait it out then. Yo, Bosper, do I have any skins for you? Uh, nope. I'm not telling you anything new. Righto. We have 21 learning points. I guess we can finish up Cord's thing. In order to do that, we have to go talk to Jarvis and learn picking pockets. And from there, I'll decide where to spend the remaining 10 points. Uh, probably on one-handed fighting. But, uh, let's find Jarvis first. He'd either be down there or in here. This hour, I would imagine he's in here. And it seems I would be mistaken. What a shame. I still need to find guards for Felon. I'm not really sure where to do that. Hopefully I'll figure this out. Do I just have to find two unnamed mercenaries? Probably be the easiest way. Teach me your thieving skills. Picking pockets. Most difficult one and the simplest at the same time. Yada yada yada. Don't care about any of this. So that's that. We have nothing more to learn from you. Hey you. And... Uh, Alright, well, that's it. Fuck it, back to town. I cannot remember when we learn, or when we acquire the rune to teleport back here. In the meantime, I am just going to keep using that cheat code just because it is saving me so much time. Um, so having learned how to pick pockets, we can get the key from Boltan. From there we can unlock his chest and get the black ore and then be done with it. Uh, while we're here, we will talk to Wolfgar as Andre instructed us. Lord Andre sends me. Says you know something about catching spies. What do you do with them? They don't taste very good. Ha! What a kidder. You wanted to tell me something about spies? These tasks are usually given to an exterior soldier of the militia who is unknown in the city. Drops a few words as some special taverns or locations, yada yada yada. If you did the militia quests in Gothic 2, you kind of know what he's talking about here. If you don't behave too awkwardly, he sooner or later gets a chance to muscle in with the rogues. This requires many nerves and much patience. You don't have times for nerves. I don't have time for nerves, and you don't know how it's going with my patients. Isn't there a shortcut? If you don't have anybody under suspicion, I would search around the caves around the city. 
guess at my headquarters there if I was a spy. Thanks and no offense. Hmm. Seems a bit... Uh, I don't know. An official request, blah, blah, blah. Uh, ooh, it would be risky. So let's wait before we take that chance. We will save. And let's give it a go. Woot! So simple. Right now the only problem is we gotta wait until midnight so that all these guards will be asleep. Alright, let's do this! There's a lot of chests here, but we are, of course, only interested in Boltans, wherever he is. There he is. Which would imply that actually this one would be his. Or not, I really don't know. Someone is lacking a chest. That's a dreadful shame. Well, we can loot everything while we're here, I suppose, but I don't particularly care to waste my time doing so. Uh, that's some swamp weed. Well, I guess there's no real order to whose chest is whose. <laughs> I mean, it was supposed to be in his thing, my jig, right? Mysterious package. They had to steal from the company parlor. Perhaps it's actually in there then. In fact, I think it is. Which means any of those guys might actually see me taking it. If they ever choose to turn around. If you went in here before in Gothic 2, it would contain a couple items I think were stuff that the militia confiscated. Yeah, it says evidence. Oh! Ooh! 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 So these are all things. <laughs> Almost all of them are items from uh, Gothic 2. Quests, like assorted quests that you could take care of. There's a overseas trader guild ring, which was from when you uh, rad you uh, smoked out Fernando as the bandit trader. Um, some other stuff. There's a broken rapier with a small C carved into the handle. A parcel of weed. And there's black ore. Oh, five of them? Wow. Perhaps I should not have opened it, though. Yep. Um. Cord might be a little peeved. But we already know what it is, so. I don't know. Let's hope I didn't fail the quest by opening it. Should have been a little more prudent. Hello, Cord. If I got something for you. Damn it. What do you want? About the package. You have it? Where is it? I've got it with me. Of course you tell me what's so dangerous about Black War after all I'm the one risking my sweet ass for it. That bastard talk, I will let's just say I made him talk. So Black War is a magic rock touched by Belliar himself. If you swallow just a tiny crumb, you'll move twice as fast as anybody else. Very useful in a fight of life and death. Hope you won't ever be forced to take a taste. Interested in black ore? How much have you got? What's a nugget worth to you? 100 gold coins? Deal. So we can always just sell more to him. I want to become even better. One handed weapons, please. What? Anyone who. Di suicide who dares to take you on. Alright, well, that took uh, all the points we had, unfortunately. 
What a shame. Do you have any old coins for Wasili? Let's just take a look. Yep, we got five. That's 50 uh, experience points for us. Which I shan't turn down. Where the hell is he? You're not Wasili. Where is he? You hardly know who to believe these days. It had to happen sooner. Little Toby. Charles played the steal from him. Sweet. That's no secret. So that could be a handy way to make a profit nowadays. Here's Wasili. Stealing from him would probably be a terrible idea. But we can't even do so. There you go. And now, let's just take a look at what uh, Toby had. Alrighty. And now, so we got three jobs from Lord Andre. Beliar Shrines. By a sacred Inos's weapon. That sounds like the Holy Hammer. Right, right, right. So let's go talk to Isgaroth and see about acquiring a holy weapon. Although, technically, our weapons were blessed, weren't they? Blessed enough to kill ghosts. Would they not suffice? I suppose not. Hey, you. I need your help. I reckon I would need a holy weapon to destroy Belial's shrines. You are a priest of Enos. Could you help me with this task? A laudable task, my child. There's only one weapon which will make you able to ban the unholy stone from this world. The holy hammer! Where do I find this hammer? There is possession of the Abbey. It's a valuable relic, and I don't have it on my command. I'll search council with the eldest for order. I'll have an answer for you if you come back tomorrow. Good deal. In the meantime, let's see if our armor is ready. So I should very much like to have it. I get the feeling we're going to need to do something... For the church before they will give us a weapon. Never mind the fact that we are saving the goddamn world for like the third time already. And you can have that. And that. 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 We'll keep that. I think Ulrich should like to have it. And, uh. Where's Ulrich this time of day? Is he in, is he in the upper end of town? You're successful in building the armor. No, I gave up. The place cannot be properly glued together, nor fixed, nor cantered, or whatever. So when I attach the third place to the second, the first falls down again. It's frustrating. You really Seem pretty confident. Saw someone running around in it. This nameless guy everyone keeps talking about. How did he keep his armor together? I just don't know, damn it. First he came in through the gate in peasants' clothing and pestered me with questions. Later, I only stopped for apples, and before I could ask him about his armor, he rushed off like a madman. He was always in a hurry. Where could it have come from? Not from inside the city. Ask Orlean. Well, Wolf knows. If you really find a set of crawl armor, come by me again. I just have to know what keeps the plates in place. If we can talk to Orlean, he will probably tell us that it was Wolf. And Wolf will give us tips on how to fix it. Is it really true? She always asked me for armor as I... Well, that's convenient. That was no he bragged idea. about an armor he allegedly made from Minecrawler plates. Can you read my thoughts? Eh? The only thing I read are letters of credit. Should have known that. Well, that's all well and good. Also, once we get the, uh... Once we get a new set of armor, we can actually give the leather armor back to... What's your name? Thecla. I think she would be pleased to have it. You've made a crawler armor. 
didn't know you were capable of doing that. Oh well, me and my hidden talents. It was really good armor, kept a lot of things away, even that magic crap. Make it such an armor for me? I have these armors down pat meanwhile, you know. Two um, additional curves shouldn't be a problem. Make me a crawler armor. How many places do I have to bring you until you can make me an armor? Also, me 12 plates and you get the armor the next day. Where can I get that many plates? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I'll try, but... Like, for crying out loud. Can I just get him back from, uh... What's his name? I can't even think of where there would be any more mine crawlers. We got loads of them from that place. That was every single one that we gave to Mateo for Rupert. <laughs> so, uh, where else are there mine crawlers? I know there are some in, uh, near the ruins, but we can't get there. Apart from that, I really just don't know where there are any more. And we can't get them back from him, for frick's sake. Let's think about it. So we got the... Uh, we didn't get them all from the cave near Dexter's tower. We left one warrior behind. Apart from that, there's a cave. There are loads of caves. Hmm. Where's our cave with the. Do you have a prophecy for me? Nope. Where is there a cave that could have mine crawlers? If only we had a map of caves. Hey, Errol. What do we have to offer? Didn't get that, finally. But I feel like we should save our money. Well, that's that. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal from her. I'm not gonna try right now. Hmm. 